Okay. I want you to meet my parents. This one's almost too easy. I'm sure you already know what this video is about. Please tell me now. I'll give you a gummy bear. It's time for bay or nay. Yes, we're still saying bay. We already made all the cool graphics. The series where we see which Nick couples would have been the perfect match or a complete disaster. Yay! This time on Bay or Nay, we're cuffing Kat and Robbie. She's so cute. A girl like that wants a man, not a boy. I'll get there. Um, yes, they would be Bay. That's all. That's the video. Thanks so much for joining us. Wait, what? All right, all right. We got ahead of ourselves. We're really going to try to be objective here. So we've broken this video down to see whether or not Kat and Robbie are Bay. Cabby shippers, gather around and bring the cheese. You're adorable. Any guy would be lucky as cheese to go out with you. Let's kick this off by comparing Kat and Robbie's personalities. Kat is kind, bubbly, and sometimes very sensitive. Before I take you in there, I should warn you. About? My grandmother. She can be critical. That's OK. I take criticism really well. No, you don't. What's that supposed to mean? Just that you don't take criticism very well. Why don't you just kick me in the face? I'm sorry. I take it back. OK. Most of the time, Kat is a little weird and hard to understand. But her cheerful personality is contagious, and those around her find a lot of joy and entertainment in her presence. What if we act out the final scene from Titanic? <laughs> when the boat sinks. Oh my god, I just gave away the ending. Spoiler alert! <laughs> you know, whenever she starts talking, I think to myself, maybe this time it'll make sense. I'm always wrong. On the other hand, Robbie is super nerdy, shy, and awkward. He has a tough time connecting with women. What's wrong with me? You are gross. Oh, there's a bunch of things. Does she smell like a baby? Uh, a little awkward. You're a You're uh, awkward. You guys, <laughs> it's not funny. Oh, oh, and you're not funny. While Robbie could sometimes act a little brash, he is a loyal and honest friend. Even though he's generally smart, he often shares the same aloofness as Kat. Watch as I press return to base and have it come right... Uh, oh. ah. Nerd down! Kat and Robbie both rely on a third party when things get serious. And by third party, we mean a puppet or a stuffed animal. I don't know if you have a... Mm. <laughs> Giraffe just said? <laughs> He's so inappropriate. <laughs> uh, I, um, I don't know if maybe, you know, if you want to go to the prom with me? When it comes to their personalities, Robbie and Kat are very compatible. And to make all this easier, Robbie is already obsessed with Kat. You're the nugget in my chicken, make the peanuts and my butter, adding fiber to our diets beneficial for each other. Your piece of dental floss, and I am the teeth. You're Aretha Franklin, I'm Ari SPECT. I love you like a cop's marathon on TV. I love you more than the original Star Wars trilogy. You're a guitar, and I'm the strings like a jet ski in the water. You're New York, I'm the buildings. You're my mother, I'm your father. <laughs> You're swell. Obviously, it takes two to tango, and Robbie's obsession is nothing short of creepy if Kat isn't into it, right? Legally, we need to show you reasons why this couple wouldn't be Bay. I guess we've been declaring everyone Bay as of late, or whatever. So here's Kat not being so interested. Maybe we should make out sometime. <laughs> Robbie, you're so gross. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Well, we we could stay back here and snoodle. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Okay, first of all, she's not my girl. Unless you want to be. I'm good. You know the cowboy luau dance this Saturday night? Yeah, I know about the cow wow. Well, Robbie texted me last night saying he wants to talk to me, and I know he's going to ask me to be his date. Gross. Don't say gross, I like Robbie. So, go to the dance with him. No, gross. But not so fast. You didn't think we'd shy away from honoring Cabby as Bay so easily, did you? Because Kat's affection for Robbie is everywhere if you look hard enough. I've decided Robbie's role should be. Do you see that? Her shirt literally says, I love nerds. Or is it, I backpack nerds? Either way, could this indicate her love for Robbie? I mean, she even dreams about him. Kat, come on. You can't be mad at me over something I did in your dream. It's what you didn't do. Well, will you at least tell me what I didn't do? Fine. These little kids were trying to eat us, and you wouldn't even try to help me. You were just crying and yelling, no, no, don't eat me. Eat her, eat her. Well, I'm sorry. And if a bunch of little kids ever really do try to eat us, I promise to 
Well, why shouldn't they eat you first? Now, due to the legal obligation I mentioned earlier, it's imperative that I tell you this dream could indicate the reason why they shouldn't be bae. Yes, you heard that correctly. This very dream could be the reason Cabby would never work out. Robbie! Hear me out. Cat dreamt Robbie let her get eaten by children. Pretty harsh, right? But doesn't that indicate she has trust issues with Robbie? Ah! And Robbie certainly has his fair share of trust issues with Cat. <laughs> well, hey there, Cat. Hi. Where's your date? Tug. Oh, well. See, he wore this cool hat that spins and lights up, but the batteries died, so he went across the street to get new ones. Of course. What? Oh, nothing. I'm sure that's true. It is true. Come on, Rob. Let's move along. Yeah, it's getting a little too fibby around here. But when all is said and done, a lot of their disagreements stem from jealousy. Wow! <laughs> Someone's a happy cat. Yeah, me! <laughs> Wait, is this because of that guy you met last night? Uh-huh. Oh, you, you met a fella? Yeah. His name's Evan. I already asked Gabriella to be my date to the cow wow. Gabriella? Mm-hmm. Well, what'd she say? She said, see. Si. That means yes. I know. I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, yay. You got yourself a pretty girl to take to the cow wow. Yeah. Well. I just wanted to let you know you don't have to run away from me anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Robbie. See you in class. Okay. Ah! Gabriella. Their jealousy could only mean that they both have feelings for each other. And this is all proven during the cow wow, when cabby shippers around the world got exactly what they wanted. Thanks for petting my head bump. <laughs> Can I tell you a secret? Sure. Now, to classify Cabby as Bay right here would be rather difficult, since Cat did run away after that kiss. However, Robbie returned when Cat was living with Sam, and they left us all with this. Cat, when my wounds heal, maybe you and I can hang out. Just the two of us. Would there be meatballs? <laughs> There would. KK. So there's hope. Hope that one day Kat and Robbie will come together and see how much they deserve each other. I mean, Robbie has literally done some amazing things for Kat. And your Christmas present is your very own cotton candy machine! Whoa. <laughs> That's right, this man, Larry Stein, will follow you around all week and give you all the cotton candy you want. <laughs> And their chemistry is undeniable. Trina, oh Trina. Yeah, Trina, you stay at home tonight. Oh no, oh, we're doing that thing again where we just convince y'all a couple is bae. This needs to stop. Quick, play a clip of Robbie compatible with someone else. <laughs> yeah, okay, that didn't help. I think our point stands. Robbie and Kat have some interesting history together. And while they're amazing friends, it's pretty clear they could make a great couple too. But hey, this is totally your decision. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Kat and Robbie, they or nay?